Hello, and welcome to my hygiene corner here on the ISS. This is the place where I wash, brush my teeth, or after workouts, take a shower ISS style. The heart of the um, hygiene corner is the toiletry pouch, Comfort 1M. It's Russian made, and uh, most crew members ask to have one sent up for them. Uh, it's really useful to um, deploy our hygiene items, and hygiene items come, come up in a ziplock like this one. This contains supplies that need to last for six months. And they don't look much different from what uh, your hygiene items look in your bathroom, probably. Uh, you can see a toothbrush here, toothpaste tube, deodorant. And as far as towels are concerned, we cannot wash stuff up here. So um, we get a supply of towels uh, every week. We get a towel like this one and a smaller washcloth. I usually take my new ones out on Sundays, so it's not quite time yet. I put those back. And um, for today, I will use the ones that I have already deployed for the week. Every second day, we can also take out a new, um, let's say, camping towel. It's one of those uh, light towels. It comes in a foil like this, it's dry. And then we can add water, wet it, and it's, it's really nice to, to clean your skin. In terms of brushing your teeth, it's actually um, very similar to what you would do on Earth. As I said, uh, toothbrush and toothpaste look just the same, and you brush your teeth just the same. Uh, the only difference, of course, is that we don't have a sink to spit in when we're done um, all that extra toothpaste. So some uh, astronauts uh, just swallow it. Um, it's quick and, and easy. Um, I personally don't like to do that, so I actually spit it in a towel. Um, it's not the most elegant thing, but uh, you have to do what you have to do. As far as soap is concerned, it comes up uh, in, in pouches like this one. You need to add water, and then you get a nice uh, liquid soap pouch, which needs to last for about two weeks. And it's a no-rinse type of soap. It doesn't make a lot of foam, and it doesn't really need to be rinsed. And of course, we do not have any running water up here, so we also need to fill up uh, water pouches. Uh, we can connect pouches like this one to the water dispenser, which is in the nearby module in the US lab. And uh, I personally like to, to fill it up with warm water when it's time to wash, but uh, you can also fill it up with ambient temperature water. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do this right now, and I'll see you in a minute. Here I am, and I got my water. So first of all, I'd like to show you um, how water behaves in weightlessness, which is kind of uh, interesting. Uh, of course, it doesn't fall down uh, like it does on Earth. And it kind of tends to stick to your skin because of surface tension. I don't know if you can see it. You see, it doesn't really want to move away from your hand just because of that surface tension effect. Now, of course, I put a lot of water on my hand just to show you. You wouldn't, you wouldn't use all that water to wash um, just because it's, it's a little bit difficult to control. So I'm actually going to dry it off. But if you have some time uh, to, be, you know, to, to take your time and be careful, you can, you can do that, I think. Um, I do it sometimes. I, I really put some water on my skin like that. You know, just a little bit. And, um, and then I have some soap. Like that. And then you can carefully go ahead and rub it. And it actually really gives you a nice feeling of, uh, of cleanliness. And then as I said, I like to keep my actual towels here dry, so I can use them to, to dry off. Now, of course, you, you don't always have the time to take it slowly and be so careful. So if you are a little bit more in a rush, let's say it's a, it's, a, it's a work day and you had your workout and then you have to rush off and do something else, then you will simply, um, you know, 
just squirt the water into your camping towel and add some soap and that's a lot easier to control because you can just rub your skin like that. And uh, I don't find it as pleasant, but uh, it's certainly a lot quicker and, and, easier to, and easier to control. Now all the, the water that you use eventually ends up in the towels that you use to dry. And we leave those towels close to a ventilation grid, like in this case you can see a ventilation grid right here, so that they can dry off. And all the water then is uh, recuperated. Um, it evaporates in the air and then in the um, air conditioning system it condensates again and it goes into our uh, uh, water recuperation bus and it actually gets turned into potable water again. So we don't absolutely lose any of the water that we use to wash. Cutting your fingernails is not the easiest thing in, uh, in weightlessness. So of course, you, um, you don't want to lose any pieces of nails uh, around the cabin. So um, the best thing is actually to do it really close to a um, return grid of the ventilation system so that uh, all the pieces of nails that you cut off um, get immediately attracted, um, sucked towards the grid, um, kind of like this. And then when you're done, of course, you want to have uh, a vacuum cleaner handy so that you can uh, clean after yourself. And to um, wash your hair, um, we have a, a special no-rinse shampoo uh, that requires uh, um, theoretically no rinsing, but at least very little rinsing. So we just squirt uh, water into our hair, uh, we add some shampoo, uh, we massage it just like we would on earth, and then we kind of dry the excess water and shampoo off with, uh, with a towel and, uh, and off we go.